my musical style is probably, uh, I'd say, real. I don't know. Everything I write is the truth, and um, depends on what style of song it is, though. But I like to have fun, or you know, I can get serious with whatever's on my mind. So yeah, definitely being real is the truth. So I've been interested in music, obviously, pretty much my whole life. I started listening to more hip hop in like fourth grade. And uh, yeah, I got my first Ludacris album back then. So yes, I listen to, I've been into music since way back in grade school. Like that. I've been writing my own music since sophomore year. My favorite original song, uh, well, I, I guess I should just name off like three. Because one of them I produced myself, which is called In the Mix. That's more of like a fun song, people were like that one. Um, I like Dreams and Fantasies because. I guess my lyrics. I guess my lyrics in that one are. I like. Yeah, I like that one a lot, and then that one's pretty real. And then the one, one of my recent ones, that's. I like the. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of. It's more. It's, it's fun. It's like a. Maybe like a little attitude in that song. So I kind of like that one too. Um. As of right now, music's kind of just a hobby. Um. Maybe a little more than that, but. Yeah, it's something that's definitely just fun to do and uh, when I have free time. And if I have something on my mind, then obviously music's a good way to kind of express that. And yeah, like future-wise, maybe get into business. Um, something get, no, maybe get uh, into business or sports marketing. I don't know, I'm kind of business, sporty, music kind of guy. So I don't think music's going to be some huge thing in the future. But uh, I mean, we'll just have to see about that. So. Yeah, everybody that a lot of a lot of people that are really close with really support my music. Um, a lot of good friends. If I show them a song, like they'll like it, or they don't. There's not like a song they they're like, oh, I don't like this, but they might like critique it and like tell me, oh, you should have done, maybe should have done this. And I'll obviously think about that for the next song I make. Or sometimes when I make a song, I think of a specific person, and be like, oh, like he or she would really like this. And yeah, I do it like that. And then. Um, yeah, definitely my parents. My my dad's, he, yeah. My my mom's probably my big supporter in the family, and she's tried to tell me like to keep my music clean, which you know I'm big. I've been doing that, and she hasn't really needed to tell me that. But um, yeah, I, my biggest music inspiration would probably have to be Drake. He's my guy right there. I love him. Real. Yes, I do write all my own music. Well, obviously it would be sweet to do it for Drake, but I don't think he's ever performed in Minneapolis or Minnesota. So, but if it was like a smaller venue, maybe an artist that isn't like huge, he's maybe trying to go on the come up, like maybe he's like pretty big on YouTube, but like he's not like super famous and stuff, that'd be kind of cool. I probably produce over like 20 songs, I mean I've made beats, but like my, my songs personally are probably a little over 20-ish. Um, just be yourself with your music, um, be real, and yeah, just try to like, you don't, you don't have to like try to separate yourself, but like, definitely do what like, when you're here and you're like, oh, I really like this, like, then that should be how you want it to be, it should be. If you're making music and other people like in your county, and it's alright, then I probably wouldn't like what I'm doing, but if you like, if you like what you're doing, then yeah, that's how it should be.